Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have high ambitions and sometimes imagine myself in the positions I want to be one day. I try not to do that, but it happens often. I feel guilty about me imagining things like that because in the end it's Allah who decides what happens, not me. Yes, I'll make sure I want to, I work for the position I want to be in and what should I do. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. What's really important is that our ambitions and our goals should be ambitions that bring us nearer to Allah and bring us a higher position in the hereafter. As for ambitions that relate to the dunya, then these are natural to a certain extent, but they can come with their own dangers and they can come with their own problems. And many, many people, subhanAllah, lost their religion because of ambitions that they had in the dunya and a craving for wealth or a craving for power or a craving for status. So a person should really try to make sure that their ambitions and goals are really ambitions and goals for the hereafter and that the dunya is a servant to those ambitions and not the master of those ambitions. As for a person imagining themselves achieving something, then I don't see there to be any harm in this inshaAllah ta'ala as long as it doesn't lead a person to this issue of taswif, like procrastination and, you know, just like the poet said, in al muna ra'su amwal al that dreams are the capital of the bankrupt, where a person is just dreaming about achieving something but not working to achieve it. But if a person is working to achieve something, and if they haven't made the dunya their master, but they've made it, their servant and if their goals are directed towards the hereafter and they are permissible goals and if a person uh, visualizes themselves or imagines themselves reaching those goals and that doesn't lead to procrastination and it doesn't lead to you know dreaming and laziness then inshallah ta'ala i don't think this is something that you should beat yourself up over and allah knows best